Hey guys, what's up? DV here. Uh, I've got another Lightworks tutorial on basic editing and adding clips to the timeline in Lightworks beta. So to get started here, you can see we've picked up from our last tutorial, which was importing media into the Lightworks program. You can see we have our importing media bin open with our different clips in here as well. Now, first off, I'm just going to say these clips at the top here and here are from our recent short film, um, The Winter War, which is still being edited at the moment. But these are just some clips that you're going to maybe see a little sneak peek from throughout the video. So, um, you're going to want to look forward to that. And then we have a bunch of other random clips from the Seeking trailer and a couple other things down here. So in this tutorial, what I'm going to be showing you how to do is to begin a new edit by putting all your clips in, using the different audio and video tracks to your advantage, and getting prepared for the next videos, which include adding effects and transitions to your work. So the first thing you want to do is go over to the toolbar on the left-hand side of the screen and select to create a new edit tool. And this is going to open up a new edit timeline and a new edit preview screen. And basically, before we do anything else, you want to adjust the uh, timeline edit view to a way that's suitable for you uh, based on the size. So you can drag it from the corners, you can stretch it horizontally, compress it horizontally, and do the same vertically as well. And then you have the preview screen up here. Now, an important thing to tell you before you actually start editing, because this is something you're going to notice immediately, is that if there is no red boxes around the timeline and the preview screen, you're not able to change the clips that are in that at the moment. So what you have to do if you're switching between rooms or different edits, like if you had another edit open, you have to click record down at the bottom to turn it red, and then you're able to edit the stuff that's within that uh, timeline. So what I want to do first is actually uh, add one, my opening logo to the beginning of this timeline by just positioning my, positioning my cursor at the start of the timeline, and then dragging this onto the preview screen, and then it's going to show up in purple on the timeline below. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to position my cursor all the way. So you see here you have the opening logo. Yeah, yeah. And then what I want to do is position my cursor all the way to the right of that clip from the point where it goes from the last frame of the video to a black screen. And that indicates that you're ready for your next clip to be added to the timeline. So I'm going to go ahead and do that simply by dragging this from the import bin and right onto the timeline. And then we can get rid of that clipboard clip there. And then you can see that you have your opening logo, and then you also have um, your footage from your first scene there. Now, another option you can do to go about adding it to a timeline is going over here, clicking on this preview window, and then popping out the tile by doing that. But that's just an extra step, and it's a lot easier just to simply drag it from your bin right onto there, which is why I like bins and racks so much, because they're so convenient and so useful. Now. One thing that I really wanted to show you is when you have your clip, you get to the end here, it goes from the last frame to a black screen. What you can do is you can um, add videos or audio to different tracks, like which is useful if you're using PNGs or title sequences that have an alpha channel background that you want to have on top of the current video. Now, I don't have one of those available at the moment, but what I am going to do is show you exactly how you can go about doing that. Now, if you go ahead and click right-click on a blank spot of your timeline, and then select Add Tracks. What you can do, you can add video tracks or audio tracks by choosing the drop down menu at the top. You can choose how many you want to add. And then you can choose a name for it, whatever, or before or after the current one. And then you click on Do It. And what that's going to do is add in a new video or audio track above the original one. So you see we have our opening logo here, obviously. And we have our next video clip here, which is actually on the border of in our new short film. But you'll see more about that if you check out the production log um, or our upcoming trailer as well. But that's not what I'm talking about in this tutorial, so I'm going to move on. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to move this up a little bit because I stretched that timeline out. I'm going to add my next clip. You can see I went from the clip to the last frame to the black there. And then I'm going to add in this clip of the sky. Oh, wait. I'm sorry, I got sidetracked there. What I wanted to do is show you how to add a video clip to video track 1 rather than video track 2. By do, to do that, what you want to do is deselect video track 2. So you want to deselect tracks that you don't want to use. So I'm going to deselect video track 2, and it's going to gray it out, but your footage is still there, don't worry. Um, and then what I'm going to do is position the cursor like I did before, and I'm just going to drag this nice sky clip onto the preview screen, and if I zoom out... Oh, wait. My bad, that was an image, not a video clip. I'm going to undo that. That was my fault. I meant to drag in a video clip, which, if I do that, it's going to mess up my whole edit. Okay, so now if I drag the video clip in, that's going to work perfectly. 
So you see if we um, re-enable Video Track 2, you have your footage there, and then you jump from Video Track 2 to Video Track 1, which has your new video from the Seeking Trailer. Now, if you say you wanted to add in a video clip, but you didn't want to have audio tracks 1 and 2, you want to have audio track 3 because you have a unique sound that you want heard. What you do is you right click in a blank spot, click add tracks, go ahead add an audio track, click undo it. You can close this window, and then what you can do, you can stretch this out a little bit, and then what you want to do is deselect all the tracks that you don't want to be using. So I'm going to switch to use video track 2 and audio track 3, which means I'm going to deselect video track 1, audio 1, and audio 2. I'm going to position my cursor there. I'm going to drag my next video clip right on top of that. I'm going to drop it into there, and then I'm going to be using video track 2, audio track 3. I'm going to turn on the ones that I had turned off, and now you can see that you have your new video clip here as well. So I'm hoping this is working out a little bit better for you with the specifics, um, these more detailed, uh, I guess, tutorial videos, I guess you could call it. And uh, to wrap this one up, I'm just going to show you how to add your credits or closing logos to your video, which can be done, which is actually a really nice transition here because you see the actors are running off screen, and then it's just going to kind of fade out. And then I'm going to add in my subscribe closing logo, or you can add in your credits if you're using a film. So I positioned my cursor, and actually I want to make this one be in video track 1, audio tracks 1. So I'm going to deselect these, and then I'm just going to import or drag this to this uh, preview screen, drop it into place, and then you see it has this salmon -y color, and it tells you to, hang on, oh, well it should have told me to subscribe, but it didn't work. Uh, oh, I know why I did that and that was my fault in Vegas, but don't worry, <laughs> it's not Lightworks, Lightworks looks better actually. But anyway, you can see you can see that on my video at the end of this video actually, and it'll tell you to please subscribe, and it'll be a nice, fancy uh, subscribe logo. So anyway, um, I hope that this was helpful for you, and if you have any suggestions for future videos, please let us know. We have a bunch of other ones that we're working on at the moment, and including another short film, which is The Winter War. Um, so I hope this is helping you guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.